The Lord be with you. And also with you. Good evening and a very warm welcome to our Eucharist in this midweek Eucharist on Wednesday evening. A welcome to those who might be sharing in our worship online tonight through Facebook. A very warm welcome to you all. Today, of course, we remember the birthday, the actual birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And our readings and prayers will be connected with that festivity and thanksgiving for the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let's pray together our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Born of a woman, born under the law, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of sin. Let us come to him now, that he may heal us and set us free from all our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God, the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who stooped to raise fallen humanity through the childbearing of Blessed Mary, grant that we who have seen your glory revealed in our human nature and your love made perfect in our weakness may daily be renewed in your image and conform to the pattern of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 8. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the most responsorial song from the book or the song of Judith, the response is, my heart exalts in the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. I will sing to my God a new song. O oh Lord, you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invincible. My heart exalts in the Lord. Let all your creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and it formed them. There is none that, does, that can resist your voice. My heart exalts in the Lord. For every sacrifice as a fragrant offering is a small thing, and burnt offerings to you a small thing. But whoever fears the Lord is great for ever and ever. My heart exalts in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. 
when his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public ridicule, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ Jesus, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. As we pray to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we say with Mary, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your prophet of old foretold a day when a virgin would conceive and bear a son who would be called God with us. Help us to look forward to your deliverance and to seek the fullness of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your angel declared to Mary that she was to be the mother of the Saviour. Help all Christian people to be open to your word and obedient to your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, Mary bore a son of David's line, a king whose reign would never end. Father, bless all the nations of the world, our own nation and government with the gift of Christ's peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, at the foot of the cross, Christ stood with his mother. Mother Christ stood, his mother, and from the cross she received his lifeless body in her arms. Father, we pray tonight for comfort and healing to all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Father, particularly remembering tonight the Blanchard family who have suffered the loss of Michael. Father, comfort and strengthen them in their grief this night. Father, we will remember also those in illness who need our prayers this evening. We remember in particular this evening Pat Johnson, Max, aged five, Mary Lewis Todd, June Jones, David, Benita Sloan, Clara Horsey, Roland Jepson and family, Vic and Edna Clark, Eden Williams, Miles, Pauline, Rodney, James McGuire, Gareth Jones, David Parkins, Myra Wilcox, Benita Wallace Langley, Matt and his family, Pam Jeans and Paul Townsend. Father, also remembering tonight, Julian Chadwick. Father, remember also this evening those in long-term illness, especially remembering Margaret Routledge, John Reed, Tim Taylor, Sonia Clark, Jackie Hippikin, Helen and Terry Evans. Father, strengthen all for whom we have prayed tonight with your grace, your peace and your healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Father, the Apostle John saw a vision of a woman in heaven, robed with the sun. Bring with us and all who have died in the faith of Christ. Especially remembering tonight Michael Blanchard. Bring them all to share the joy of heaven with Mary and all the saints. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we stand to share the peace. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And we do a distant sharing of the peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good. Our duty and our salvation always, Father, ever-living God, to proclaim the wonders you have worked in all your saints, and on the feast of Mary, ever-blessed, to echo her praise of your loving kindness. For you have truly done great things, and holy is your name. And your mercy is on those who fear you in every generation. When you looked with favour on your lowly servant, you remembered your mercy the promise of mercy you gave, and gave the world through her, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Through him the hosts of heaven adore you and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices join with theirs in the triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine, may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. God most high, whose handmaid bore the word made flesh, who th we thank you that in the sacrament of our redemption, you visit us with your Holy Spirit and overshadow us by your power. Strengthen us to walk with Mary the joyful path of obedience and so to bring forth the fruits of holiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the love of the Holy Family surround you. The joy that was Mary's refresh you. The faithfulness that was Joseph's encourage you. May the peace of the Christ child fill your lives. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, in the name of the Father. Amen. Amen.